Hello and welcome again to the rain gardens and flood water management video. We're just going to update uh, with the rain garden for the residential property. And um, just one thing I wanted to add is that doing drone scans, as you can see here for this property, really helps us with precision map the best location for the rain garden. And so we've picked out a spot here uh, that we can see is a low-lying area and then most importantly directing the floodwaters away to a lowering terrain. Even if you're on a flat property it is really beneficial to be able to have the drone scan to really determine where you should place the garden and a good time to consider this during a time where we have floodwaters uh, in British Columbia. So there we have the 3D image but then I can just go to the map where you can see the big picture of this property on a digital surface model. So there's the two dimensional model it has been stitched together using software. And noting that a flood is one of the worst disasters for any property, we wanna ask three basic questions. Um, we want to know in advance if there is a threat to our property because maybe you haven't had a problem before or it's been so long ago that there's no record of it. Number two, where is it coming from? So what direction is the flood coming from? Identify the source and place it originates. And then number three, what can be done to mitigate it or deal with it? We switch to the digital surface model. So there's a tremendous amount of information in here, but it just shows you the elevation data of the terrain. So there's a really, really big picture but in this case, we're just gonna zoom in and look at a scenario of where a rain garden could potentially go and how we'd work it. So we determine a rain garden could go there and that area there, and we could make adjustments as necessary uh, or move it as necessary as well. And then using that line uh, right here, we can determine the elevation distance between this point and over there. And as we can see over here, it goes down. See the elevation in meters going down along with the line. So this is just a tremendous tool before you are uh, ready to excavate a garden site that is away from adjacent properties uh, and that is in the best possible location it can go. And so this is just a tremendous tool using the, uh, the drone scanning techniques, uh, which is what we do and uh, would certainly do for a rain garden project. So in this situation, we can see the rain gardens are getting a little overwhelmed because of the storm, but uh, they are acting as a floodway at the same time. So if we go over here, we can see back to this rain garden here and see that they, a floodway. Let's take a close look. We can see the water going into there from the lawn and all around in here, flowing down here into the rain garden and then down this floodway. And I'll just take a close look here at this stormway and it's flowing down here. There's a little channel there coming from over here, which gets flooded over there from the neighbor's property. And then it comes down here. Down there. Through here. Down to the main little channel here and drain area over here, where we have a low spot there, where there is PVC piping underneath there underneath the gravel at this point and then there's the other end of it flowing out that way again into the garden into the trees trying to soak up as much of it that we can and as you can see here flowing down here and then thankfully we're going down this way over to the last ditch effort, which is clearly overwhelmed here and it's pouring over the side. Uh, 
and into the catch basin. There it is flowing over there. So at that point it's it's done what it can and it can do no more. And over here, same idea. What do we have here? Little leaves blocking that. Okay, good. And then there's just the idea of rain mitigation. If you're on the west coast, we know we get rains. And we know that they flow. And there they go. Down through there. Good. Thankfully, we live by the ocean. Where we know we have a low spot there. River is flowing pretty good here. <laughs> 